Yeah. Yeah, but it's fine. I learned something. Huh? Yeah, it was very tough. Uh, my body said, oh, you have enough. But when you don't win, you learn something. So it's fine. my birthday in a, in a good way, I could say. Happy birthday to you. In the morning I wasn't feeling very good. I had stomach ache, but I did, I could say, a pretty good race as first race of the year. I couldn't expect that much. This is your bed. So you got a puppy and a bed? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For the media was like a, a huge moment, but for me it was just the same race as always, so just me, myself and I in the water, swimming against the time. And now I had just to work on what I done wrong there. So it was a good oh, race anyway. I'm good. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, I, didn't, I, didn't. I was always really interested in his like work as a coach, like how he's approaching the swimming like how he is trying to not only do the swimming trainings, like to also be open with, with the thinkings about it, like how to be better and talk with the, with the swimmers. Yeah. And yeah. then having super heavy weight, the weight will go up as you go. You'll feel comfortable adding on, you'll be kind of... I, I need this from, the, from a coach who I choose. I want to like share also, like knowing that I'm able to share my thoughts and the response is good and open. My shoulders are the hardest now. Yeah, I like to stabilize here. In Hungary, what I was considering, what I was seeing that if you do the work, like you might suffer in not a good way, in not a, the way how you think that you should suffer. Like being unhappy doing a sport is not the key to be successful. And um, for Shane, like you know that, okay, today I'm gonna die. Today I'm gonna like really suffer in this training, but I know that it's gonna be good and there's a team for to support me. There's a coach to support me. 45-5. Liliana, I mean, great opportunity. I mean, it's just, it's amazing timing. Everything kind of coming together at the same time. I've always been a huge fan by absolutely being on the wrong side of the fence with her. She always presented the problems for me in terms of her abilities to just pop off these amazing swims out of absolutely nowhere. Um, but I've always known how to beat her. So I always knew how to help make her better. Um, so when it came up that she needed a coach, I was like, I know exactly how to make you good. <laughs> so. It's pretty funny that it ends up being as like, hey, we're on the same team and this might be a perfect match. Choose a machine, point to point. The turns are coming, she's like, where do everyone go? She has her reputation, I have my reputation, and actually the funny part is I think we both make each other better. So I think we got a lot, me and her have a lot to prove to the rest of the world, especially to the Hungarians. And uh, I think we're gonna do exactly that. So uh, there was no way either of us were saying no to this. Ugye az első találkozáskor, amikor azt mondtam neki, hogy ha ide felfekszel a masszúrányra, én kimasszírozlak az olimpiára. És tessék, én sztár úszót csinálok belőled. A világszinten ő ismert amúgy? Aha, Persze. ő az egyik Mondom. legismertebb edző közül. Láttad, hogy mennyien mentek hozzá oda Igen. most is Igen. beszélgetni? Igen. Tehát, hogy magyar, ő, ő úsz, az úszó világból híres edző. Én egyéni véleményem, hogy azok a képek, felvételek vannak összevágva, leadva a lakosságnak, ami ahol őrjönk, ahol kiabál, ahol szurkol, más habitusú. Holott 
Hogy egy, szerintem ez teljesen normális egy szurkolásnál egy versenyem. És közben meg a jó oldalát, amikor teljesen emberibb, azt nem miért nem adják le, hogy ő ilyen is tud lenni. Nem? Zsombi, így van? Igen, meg ezt akartam én megkérdezni, igaz, hogy vasárnap megyek még vásárol. De körülbelül mik azok a dolgok szerintem, ami neked szükséged lenne? Ilyenek, hogy kabát, pulóver, pulóver, puló, vagy mi, mi az, ami a leginkább... A pulci. Jó van. Jó van, apa. Pihenő. Pihenő. to travel out almost two days before. So there's always a day that we're in the city that we're going to uh, beforehand. Most important part of breakfast, after the coffee. Essentially, you know, you never know what happens on a travel day. It can be the simplest flight. It gets delayed or canceled. Or... We like to make it as easy as possible on the athletes. So my, my preference is getting them out there so there's a day easy before the competition. going in this way because we're staying in an off, off-site hotel, which they discourage, and we're trying to cut the cost for Jambor and keep things, you know, we're trying to stretch the money, we're trying to stretch the funding. Um, but we are in the center of the city. We are in the center of the city, which is kind of cool. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Do you need to talk to someone who gave me my pass? Oh, here pass you left chat. Thank you. So in the Hungarian Federation has uh, three of them, mm -hmm. two national team members and a junior national team member. Mm -hmm. But then they've kind of like, oh, you're with Italy, they'll take care of it. So, so you're not so registered by any? Either of them. So they're both okay. going, oh, the other one will. Okay. And then we're no gonna, one has. We're going to have to talk about you just hang out here for a little mm -hmm. I'll see if I can find someone. Maybe a pass, maybe no pass. Maybe I can do my job, maybe I can't do my job. Apparently the local organization committee for Berlin turned around and asked FINA and FINA specifically said no I'm not allowed to have a coach's pass. Um, I can't be on deck, I can't coach my athletes. Hi, Pavel, can you hear me? It's Shane Tusub. Hey, uh, is there any way I can get a, a deck pass so I can coach my athletes? I know they talked to you but I was trying to figure out what the situation was. Um, today sucked. <laughs> um, but there's no other way, there's no other way I can be because I'm here and there's no way I can help my athletes to perform. You know, it's, it's difficult. It's like, I went through a divorce. I didn't go, you know, I went through a divorce and I, I walked away and took a break and went to see my family, spent some time with them. And it's like, oh, well, you're not welcome. Suddenly my results didn't count. Some, suddenly everything I did wasn't good enough. I, I didn't accomplish it myself. I didn't, I didn't do the work that I needed to do as a coach. All right, well, I appreciate you taking my call. I appreciate the help and the explanation. Thank you, thank you for taking the time. I'll see you hopefully around the pool soon.
I'm back because the athletes want me, not because the country wants me or because anything else, but I'm back because I want to work with athletes and I want to do cool things. Um, I've always been here worried about getting athletes goals. I didn't ever have any coaches goals. I didn't have, like, I want to win X amount of gold medals or I want to win, break a world. Like that stuff happened because I focused on the athletes. I focused on them and if my results come, that's great, but that's not the priority. My priority is to focus on the athletes and help them get what's best. You messing with me, you causing me problems and I can't do my job for them. They don't deserve that. They're good people. Hi guys. Hi. All this stuff going on, all these issues, it's just part of the story. It's just part of the stepping stone. Your first new change. Yeah, bullshit. It's just making us tighter as a team. It's making us come together, and it's making things interesting for me. I used to do some competitions in my life without coach and it's terrible because like having a coach is a thing that you can lean on someone, you can trust someone, you can have someone having your back. If I have to, if, you know, if I have to coach with two hands tied behind my back and my arms my legs tied and if I have to coach in the stands, I'll coach in the stands. 